Hey folks, Matt Eason here, Scholar Gladiatory. Now this is just a quick little video, even by my standards, um, really an ode to my Indian club. So uh, some of you, uh, certainly regular viewers of the channel will know that I picked up a pair of genuine old antique Indian clubs, They're actually dated 1894. They are four pound Indian clubs. There are a pair of them. <clears throat> However, I've been intending to get some clubs for a long time. Um, as I explained before, and um, I, I, for various reasons I just haven't got round to it. A lot of the clubs that you find to sell are quite light ones. Obviously you can buy modern made ones, um, and I probably would have done that at some point, but anyway, I found these old ones uh, for a similar price to what modern ones would have been, and they're actually genuinely from the 19th century. Um, and uh, the main reason that I recently wanted to start using some clubs was because I have an old elbow injury. And you know, most people doing martial arts of any kind, not just HEMA, have some niggling old injuries, whether it's knees or elbows or wrists or shoulders or something else, back. Um, <clears throat> they're all common ones and unfortunately when you do any type of sport or martial art, you often end up, especially once you're over 35, you end up with um, unfortunately more and more ailments. Uh, but exercise and um, specific types of exercise and um, keeping your body in sort of you know moving and doing these uh, sort of things are going to help stave off hopefully some of the ailments uh, and there are obviously some exercises which can help overcome ailments which are caused by other types of exercises. Now I'm no expert on this sub subject at all uh, but I suspected that if I started using some clubs just purely to strengthen up and sort of you know, work the joint a bit more, that it would solve my elbow problem. And the good news is, Oz, <laughs> Oz isn't it? The good news is um, that it has. Now, I'm not going to say that my elbow is 100% like it was when I was 16 years old or anything like that. Um, I injured my elbow during a tournament about 15 years ago in Dijon, uh, hitting someone in the head really hard, and um, I overextended my elbow, uh, overextended my arm at the same time as a longsword, uh, and I hit them in the head and I overextended my arm and so it did something weird in my elbow joint and it crunched and didn't feel right and it was never right ever again. But uh, obviously I've carried on doing HEMA, it hasn't you know, impeded me that much and I, I, sometimes it's 100% fine, sometimes it's really annoying. Uh, but uh, recently it got quite annoying, not really sure why. I know that cut number threes provoke it somewhat. Um, but anyway, I got the Indian clubs and I started doing an exercise. Now, there are hundreds of different exercises you can do with Indian clubs. I recommend don't trust me as any sort of authority. There's lots of people out there doing really good videos on the Indian clubs, starting off with really um, simple, really simple motions, um, you know, whether it's supinated or pronated, um, all sorts of different things that are designed to do specific things for specific joints or to build strength in certain motions. And that there is a difference between just doing clubs for general Fit, fit, fitness or doing clubs for strength building and you can do both together or you can do them separately. Um, right so I, I started off with an exercise, I experimented with a few different ones but there was a simple one that I worked out which basically came up here, round here, out, up, round, out, up, round, out and I did this a lot and you can do it whilst standing up watching television or chatting to your wife or um, entertaining your daughter or talking to your cat or whatever you want to do, okay? And uh, I'm sure that there's lots of details about my motion here which aren't 100% correct and what uh, the professionals would recommend, but this seemed to be fine for me. It didn't strain my elbow, but it did move my elbow in a variety of different ways. Um, this coming up uh, is not like any particular sword movement. It's a bit like coming to a salute. Round here is a bit like guarding what's called high octave or sword arm protect. And then out to there is a sort of cut number seven or something like that. Okay, so sword arm protect, cut seven. Sword arm protect, cut seven. Round, 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 round. And notice I'm coming up with what would be the back edge if this was a sword here. Round here, guarding with the front edge there, and then cutting with the front edge. Obviously, I think of this in terms of sword stuff, so I break it down into um, you know edges and stuff like that, but most people doing clubs are just doing it as a form of exercise. Now, I did this a lot, and I did it at slow speeds, like this, where you're just carrying the weight, and then I speeded it up, like this, where I try to throw it out as hard as I can with the cut, uh, downwards cut at the end. 
It gets your lungs moving, it gets obviously your shoulder, your forearm. Now, one of the things uh, that I didn't necessarily realize when I started doing it was that one of the things it trains the most is grip strength. Now, grip strength in all martial arts, but particularly, I think, in sword stuff, is incredibly important. It's probably very important in wrestling as well. And obviously, if you do something like climbing or something like that, then grip strength is very important as well. Um, and adding to my elbow ailment, I've also got a slight hand ailment in that uh, my little finger got smashed a few years ago and had to be reconstructed with a couple of pins. And um, your little finger is very important to grip strength. Um, so your... Uh, your ability to touch your little finger and squeeze between your thumb and your finger there and squeeze tightly this way is very uh, important um, and you get used to having a certain level of strength. And when that's suddenly diminished, it changes everything else you do. And my, my uh, reduced grip strength exacerbated my elbow problem, I think. Anyway, um, so the clubs is brilliant because not only is it exercising all of the arm, uh, even some of the back muscles as well. You can also incidentally do it with turns. You can turn one way, then turn the other way. Um, so you can add all sorts of, you, can, you could even start putting lunges into it and stuff like this as well, just with that one simple exercise. Um, but not only does all those things, but the whole time you're having to grip onto this thing. Now these have been waxed, presumably that's original to these, which helps grip on a bit, makes them a bit grippy. But you'll notice the bulbous knob uh, on the end there, that obviously helps your hand not to slide off. Um, but nevertheless, there is your hand is still able to slide off if your grip strength isn't good enough. So you've got to grip hard. So the whole time you're doing the exercise, you're also having to grip strongly and that exercises obviously your hand and your forearm. So to cut a long story short, big, big fan of the Indian clubs. Um, and not only has it really helped my grip strength and my elbow issues, um, but, and I think it's, I can feel in my fencing, I can feel benefits already having do, doing this for a few weeks, um, probably what a month or two now, yeah, a couple of months. Um, but not only that, it's also making me start to think about some body mechanics things related to other types of swords. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blow my load immediately. I'm not gonna give away my secrets, no. I'm not gonna uh, necessarily say what my early sort of um, seeds of my theories might be. But I think that we can learn about, uh, we can learn more and look at different types of swords in different ways in terms of how they're supposed to be used, moved and cut with from these clubs. And they're already, these clubs are opening up my mind to, my minds, my mind to uh, various possibilities to do with other swords. So, first of all to say Indian clubs, they're fantastic. If you want to exercise or you already exercise and you don't use Indian clubs, really consider it. If you're interested in sword stuff, this I think this is one of the best, apart from obviously general fitness stuff and general strength stuff, Indian clubs, fantastic. Um, so really, really good and it's fun. And you can do it, like I say, listening to music or watching TV or chatting with people. It's fun movement. If you like the movements that you do in martial arts and swordsmanship, a lot of it is very, very similar to the, to the club stuff. Um, so it's fun, it's very good for you, makes you stronger, fitter, um, helps with ailments and joints if you do it correctly. There's a huge variety. Once you get into using both, I just, I should have mentioned, I just focused on one because I was just trying to see if I could help this arm, but I'm now gonna switch to doing the two club uh, exercises, so I'm doing both sides of the body at once. And you start to get into some really funky sort of, um, it's almost like semaphore uh, kind of, um, where you're, the kind of choreography and the coordination of it is a bit of a mind exercise as well. So it becomes fun in that sense. And it looks pretty cool, I think. Um, so absolutely highly recommend these and possibly in future videos, I might look a bit more at the clubs and some different exercises you could do with them. But I may also expand on what I've just mentioned in this video about the fact that these are making me think a little bit differently about how certain swords should be used, which is not something I expected when I got these at all. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon for another video. Cheers, folks.